Hello and welcome again. I'm going to talk about how to use a debugger like JDB with NS3 programs. This is an example I talked about earlier. I have an example here where if I pass the, uh, the number of nodes as two, this will give me an exception. And so runtime exceptions and runtime errors, um, when they happen, you have to run the program, the NS3 program in a debugger to know what went wrong. Let's run this, run uh, command line tutorial, line tutorial. I'm gonna pass it n equal two just to show the exception. The, yeah, so signal sig FPE. I think that this has to do with floating point or something. As you can see, when we pass two, that caused an error, right? Uh, uh, in runtime, and we don't know what line uh, caused that error. Now, if you have big NS3 programs, uh, it will be tedious to look for that error. We, where, where is it? You know, pinpoint which line causes it. And so, this is when you need to use a debugger. And this is how you could use JDB. You do that WAF run command line tutorial as usual. And then we're going to add the following command uh, template equals GDB dash dash args percentage s and then whatever argument we need to pass. Let's say I pass broadcast n equal to just like a normal NS3 program, you're passing the arguments here. So basically, what this does is uses GDB to run your program, uh, your NS3 program with these arguments. Let's run it now and see what happened. So as you can see, it's already set up for GDB. Now we are at GDB, we run GDB as usual. So the way to run it, we basically just say run. I don't have to specify the command line arguments here. And as you can see, it ran this program with the argument dash dash n2 and broadcast. And it broke and it shows you the line where the error happened. So command line exa command example.cc under command line tutorial line uh, eight. So I could do a backtrack to show the more information. So uh, we ran the simulation, an event was processed, and then somewhere here, uh, where is it? Uh, one of these lines. Yeah, this one here is where the error happened. So you can see line eight and you look at line eight and you say, aha, I have division by zero. And that's how you use NS3 debugger, uh, a, a, a debugger with NS3 to pinpoint your runtime errors. And you're gonna have a lot of runtime errors as you develop you know, certain things you miss out and this will help you know what went on. So sometimes you could see that something has a pointer value of zero, meaning it wasn't set and the such. So you could see the order of function calls. This BT here means backtrace. So the stack, it prints the stack trace of the uh, information. Uh, you need to learn how to use GDB to get more info. So info, uh, you, you, could, you could actually print uh, info locals uh, print more information. So it's, you can see here the value of X is zero uh, in a local argument. And so that, that actually is very helpful to introspect, introspect basically to uh, look at what's went on. All right, that's about it with using GDB. Uh, the command string, uh, again, would be something like this, dash dash args percentage s and then you pass the arguments. Thank you. I hope you like this video and uh, I wish you all the best in your work and research and homework and whatnot. Uh, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.